Put down these guns. We all get a little piece of that gold. We got a deal? No more deals. Power Ooh. women, badass women, nice. History repeats itself, which is important. Our next guest plays a French resistance fighter in the upcoming World War II film, Hell Hath No Fury, based on yes, a true yes, story. Yes. Please, everyone, welcome to DBL, Nina Bergman. Hey, hey. Hi. Nina, Hi. you look badass. All right, the trailer was very intense. <laughs> was it as intense on set it, uh, as it was that we saw in the trailer? Is it that intense on set? Uh, well, it was that intense, but not as action-y and guns and stuff. You know, it's intense because it's about, uh, you know, it's based on a true story about a resistant fighter who uh, back in those days, there were the unsung heroes. Mm. Um, and a lot of those women would go and date Nazi um, officers to gather information. And my character did that. Uh, she dated the SS officer who killed my parents um, and fell in love with him. Wow. Ooh. And then? So. Then we saw, yeah. what, and then we saw, and then, and we, then saw, we saw yeah. what we saw. So <laughs> <laughs> I think, and then, I, yeah, and then, and then it happened. So, so I, and then it gets real. Okay. Yeah. So besides acting, you wear yeah. many hats, right? Your band actually toured with uh -huh. Meatloaf back in the day. Hell yeah! A lot of fans of Meatloaf up here. Tori's one of them. Yeah. Any Meatloaf stories uh, from the road? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was when I first started, and he took me under his wing. He normally has Pearl, his daughter, um, out on the road with him, but uh, he gave me a chance, so it was my first big tour. And, uh, you know, he was um, one of those artists that would, um, I mean, he works harder than anyone. You know, he travels with a gym on his bus. He has wardrobes. He would record the shows every night, and then he would listen back to improve himself. Wow. So, you know... For me, the you know, I, I learned a lot like by his perfectionism and how serious he takes his craft. And then on top of it, um, he fought for me. Like, uh, you know, we did a show on Halloween and I had no money. It was my first band. And uh, I bought uh, some sexy nurse outfits for my bandmates, you know, um, <laughs> at Walmart. And uh, the venue and everyone was like, no, uh, you are not going out there. You know, four guys and you in sexy nurse outfits. And Meatloaf, they were going to not let me perform, and Meatloaf fought for us. And he was like, this is what she wants to do. Let her do it. It's my show. Meatloaf. You know? he's, he's cool. He's actually a really cool guy. It, I have a lot of respect like for him. You, you're him. pretty cool yourself, Nina. All right, because <laughs> I don't know if you know, the, the character in Hell Hath No Fury is French, but that's uh -huh. not even one of the four languages. No. I'm going to repeat that again. Four languages that you speak. Now, is there a trick to learning a language so quickly, like, to help me? Uh, well, once you, you know, have two down, then the third one is easy and the fourth. But um, the, the key thing, I didn't have a lot of time to prep for the, you know, speak French in this movie and I don't speak French. So uh, one of the tricks that I've learned is, you know, I'm from Denmark, I'm not American. And it's the placement. Once you learn the placement of a language like the, uh, like, you know, Americans, they say, ah, uh, you mm, know what I mean? The inflections, in, in the yeah. sounds in between. Yeah, yeah, it's like Americans, you know, yours is actually very in the front of the mouth. So whenever I have to play an American, I would take like a cork from a wine bottle, I put it in my mouth, and then I, then I would practice all my lines because you guys move your lips and That's your cars and your sound is very forward. You know, where, you know, French is more nasal, it's more up here, Danish is like down here in the throat. So you find the placement and once you have the placement, you know, then I think that's the biggest part. Oh my And you goodness. can kind of wing it. Interesting. That is <laughs> fascinating, the cork. And I need to know go. really quickly, what are the four languages she speaks? Please. Um, just a Danish, Russian, you know, Norwegian, and American. Just those. Oh, so we're the same. <laughs> You're not. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you're not. He knows nothing. Uh, before you were an actress, this is a crazy story, too. You were a ballerina and a boxer. So did these sports help you in yes. playing action-packed roles? And I imagine a lot of football players actually practice b ballet for the footwork. Am I right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I got into boxing because my footwork was so good and I had some uh, aggression I needed to let out, you know. <laughs> um, hence, I sang in a rock band and, you know, play those certain parts. Yeah. Um, but um, no, uh, ballet really helped, uh, especially with, you know, this particular character because it's in the 1930s and the women 
you know, they sit differently, they move their hands differently, the gestures, you know, back mm. then were different. Uh, the way she walks, the transitions, the way she moves, and I believe, you know, art is all about the transitions. So the choreography really helped me um, as an actor, you know, uh, when they tell you 10 things, go here, pick up this, look over your left shoulder, do that, it's move your arm here, but don't block the camera. You wow. know what I mean? It's Amazing. a little bit like that. And yeah, so it's doing all those at yeah. once. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for yeah. joining DBL and Nina. That's amazing that all that choreography She's goes amazing. into it. Don't miss Hell Hath No Fury opening November 5th. Is it amazing? It's amazing. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I, I wanna say amazing in 18 languages, but I just say amazing. We'll be right back. Thank you, my love. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>